Hey, welcome back to Balder Rides. This is Mike Solomon with New Jersey Giant Contractors. Today is a big day. Uh, we are ready for inspection and we're going to bore the concrete. Uh, like you see, it's a footing all form. We have a stiff footing in the back. Um, this is where the garage is. And we have the basement footing is ready. And we have the stair footing, the walkout basement uh, footing is ready as well. Uh, today I will be going over the common uh, checklist. So if you want to write it down, if you want to uh, pay attention, pay attention, write this down. I'll try to put it all together and send it to you and uh, put it on my blog. Um, so first thing, uh, you need to check on the elevation. You want to make sure the top of the footing is the right elevation. If the top of the footing is wrong, you mean the walls will be wrong. Now, for the walls, usually they are panels, uh, uh, two feet, four feet, eight feet. Uh, you want to make sure all the numbers adds up like I show you. Uh, TOW uh, uh, and uh, uh, TOF and you know top of the wall top of the footing all good so number one check with your contractors the, eleva the elevation is good two uh, you see I have a line I have this orange lines are running between the bends okay uh, make sure if you have a level uh, make sure you check all the corners are, uh, are right now the footing is reset if you have 10 inch wall, uh, the, the wall sit on the footing. So from the, those, those points are the out corners, the outside corners of the house. They never give you the inside corners. They never give you uh, footing corners. So the surveyor usually give you the outside corner of the house and you have to figure out the rest. So the way you do that, you drop line down or use the level and you get the corners. Usually if this, this house is gonna have 10 inch concrete wall, so I will have, uh, this is means the outside of the footing is seven, seven inch from the corner. The outside corner is seven inch, from the, uh, seven inch from the wall corner. So make sure all these points are right. You have one shot on this. You screw it up or the contractor screw it up. You don't check the stuff with your contractor. You're in the home because yes, you're gonna have insurance. Yes, you're gonna hire the contractor. You're gonna have insurance, you can sue him. But if he get all this work is wrong, uh, it's not cheap to break concrete, it's not cheap to dispose concrete. So make sure, go over the list, make sure everything in the right place. Now, so number one, elevation. Number two, building corners, all good. Okay, now we're gonna have a uh, walkout basement. Very critical, very simple and very critical. If you notice here, I have four inch different between here and and uh, the building and, and uh, four inch between the the top of the footing to the top of the footing of the stairs and this is for a reason and top of the footing we're gonna bore the slab the concrete slab um, now uh, you need to have the, the landing for the stairs at minimum four inch uh, four inch lower so if ever so when it rains and snow the water doesn't seep into uh, into the basement and if you look see here you have my pipe here uh, this is a drain pipe so we're gonna connect this to pipe uh, to a drain pipe before we bore uh, of course the slab now that moved me to the third important thing run all your pipes right now so I have one pipe here this is for the drain and if you see over there cor uh, black corrugated pipe I'm gonna go around like you see also you know is uh, we over excavated usually when you do this uh, uh, jobs you need to over excavate it to make sure the guys can walk make sure you run your pipes uh, your backfill was nice stone and compaction here's a black corrugated pipe and this is for the French drain and the other side will get us to uh, the sun bump now uh, this is another important thing uh, make sure you run these pipes under the footing so you don't compromise the footing. So you usually, you know, it goes by order, you know, you put the stone, you come back uh, and before you run your steel, make sure you run your pipes, you come back again and you run the steel. Now, rebars. Uh, most of the houses here in New Jersey, we use number five uh, uh, and number four. Uh, just to make everything simple, I use number five for all my jobs. Um, I have horizontal and verticals. Now, for the usually three, number five, and uh, uh, 
in a short way every two feet we tie it all together make sure you go over the overlaps so every those are 24 uh, 24 to 6 uh, number five so they overlap about two feet so make sure you go over the overlaps all right right there and we have uh, verticals and this is tied to the wall every two feet as well read the plans uh, not all the plans are the same so go over the plans with your contractor make sure he gets this right those uh, verticals are very important because this is how we're gonna tie the wall to the footing so that's very important some people do it this way other people would uh, would uh, stick it where the concrete is still uh, not hard uh, now in the corners we tie up the corners so we have those two footers okay so we tie up all the corners you can also do it other way you can bend it now uh, the last thing would be the ground uh, the grounding the clamps for the grounding this is very important for the inspector uh, he will add, always ask for this now uh, if we go back we'll see just the footing now I like to do it monolithic uh, this is uh, you know uh, all the concrete uh, goes together and is monolithic pour uh, that would help you to prevent any settlement uh, that prevent uh, you know uh, making more solid one unit act together um, so this is a way uh, I usually do it and uh, here you go uh, that's it uh, very simple very simple just make sure you go over it with your uh, uh, contractor and get it right first time so you don't make a, so you don't make an error and you have to cut concrete and you have to remove it uh, that will be it and uh, I'll talk to you uh, when we bring the concrete hey guys so here's uh, we bore the concrete we start boring the concrete uh, we have uh, we finished the back area we still have to put some uh, vertical rebars uh, before the concrete dry out now uh, make sure you space uh, the two trucks about uh, half an hour 45 minutes max apart so you don't have uh, cold joints in the, in the footing and uh, and the concrete can blend and join together so at this stage once the concrete is finished uh, we're gonna have a nice and level ready for the walls that's it guys that will be it for the footing stage now we're gonna move with the French drain and doing the, the walls uh, so if you like the training if you like the video please subscribe and thumbs up thank you